If you've been following us for a while, you will know that since we left the UK back in July, we've been on the road attempting to chase the sun. Apart from the exception of our quick detour into the Alps, I'd say we've been pretty successful in this so far. That was until winter has truly started setting in. And as we knew this was going to be the case, we've come up with a little solution that will still keep us traveling, but warm over winter. We are going to backpack Thailand and Vietnam for the next two months. And it starts today. We're currently in Vienna, in Austria, waiting for our layover to Bangkok tonight. So let's go back to a couple of days before where we were getting ready to leave the van. Today we start the preparations for our new adventure and I am so excited. And with any preparation for a trip, a list is mandatory, especially when we've got a winter by the van ready to go in storage for the next two months. I have written out our to-do list for today. To say I'm excited to take everything off is an understatement. We've got to get the van ready, clean it out, make sure everything is okay and no mold's gonna come. We've also got to turn off the gas, empty the water tank, and then get the backpacks and start packing. So let's get to it. And if you're wondering where we are, we have actually booked into an Airbnb in a city called Karlovac, just outside of Zagreb in Croatia. The weather has been forecasted to be very wet and cold, so we decided to check in here to be able to get everything ready and prepared for the trip. Are you ready, Mitch? I hate stuff like this. It'll be fun. All right, okay, we'll see in 20 minutes time when we're ripping each other's hair off. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I also apologize for wearing the same outfit that I wear in every single video, but everything has been washed. You've only got so many clothes. I know, everything's been washed, and obviously I'm not gonna be wearing these type of clothes when we're away, so. This is what I'm wearing today because all the R clothes are coming out of the van and hopefully getting packed well into these backpacks. Oh, it's raining. Like raining, raining. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is really not ideal. We're meant to be getting this van dry and ready and it is chucking it down. I don't even know where to start now. Best thing to do will be take the clothes inside that we need to park so there's less stuff in here. Yeah. And get the backpacks like partly packed to see if we'll pack. I think we should pack the backpacks first so there's more chance for the rain to stop. Okay. Now the task is getting all of our clothes out in the open and then seeing what we actually need to take. This isn't actually our first backpacking trip that we've done. Back in 2019, me and Mitch went on a trip around Southeast Asia and to Australia before returning home because of the pandemic. So I feel like we're pretty clued up on what we need to take, but we definitely want to take less this time as we know the struggle of carrying these backpacks on your back. It's already turning into a case of your packing 10 times as many clothes as me. I know. But the thing is, I haven't been able to wear any of my like nicer clothes since we left the sun because I packed for the sun thinking that's what we were going to be in constantly. So now I'm getting like really excited because I'm seeing all my clothes again that I just literally have not worn. I don't think some things have even been washed since my mum last washed them for me before we left. So now I'm just getting really excited. I told myself I was going to pack really mini minimal. I think I've already picked out my clothes in like five minutes. You've my got, it's not even started. You've got so much variation of colour, wow. So you're, you're, you're done? Well yeah, and now I'm going to have to wait about six hours for you to be done. We're probably going to have to go through a um, session of Mitch, do you think I should take this? And then Mitch telling me no, and then we'll cut that. We need to cut some of this stuff that I've got. Another thing to mention is that we've got check-in bag for our big flight over there, so to Thailand and back. However, with the trip halfway between to Vietnam, 
we have only gone for hand luggage because on a couple of flights last time we were able to get hand luggage with these backpacks and that was when they were like stuffed because we packed for a year so we've still got to be mindful of the fact that we're going to take them at hand luggage at, one, at some point especially with the toiletries this is my backpack it's a Osprey 4.40 40 litre bag like Martha said you can take these as hand luggage so they're the perfect size I think for getting enough in and also not having to pay to check your bag in every time you get a flight. I've also got a 40 litre one by Osprey. I think mine's the Fairview. It's just the female version, I think. But we actually fit so much in these backpacks. You can see that they kind of open like a suitcase, which is what we wanted instead of the backpacks where you have to stuff it all in from the top. We've even got our own little embroidered patches on it from last time. So we know whose is whose. Well, not the different colours. No, I mean, like, when we get them on the flight and stuff and there'll be a lot that we'll experience but last time let's just say sometimes our backpacks we thought they'd got lost they'd been moved during night buses there's a lot that we're going to experience when we're away and i'm so excited to be able to bring you guys along with us this time but yeah that's actually really important to have so you do know it's yours especially for them yeah long journeys ahead so hard i've been sat here for like a nearly an hour now i reckon just telling martha that she can't take this she can't take that mine's been packed for all this time i'm just debating between shorts because i've got a dark navy a blue denim and a cream and then i'm trying to see how many pair with outfits and that they're all neck and neck Oh man, that's cra yeah, it's really hard, crazy. But then I can't take three pairs of shorts. No. <laughs> I can't decide. <laughs> I might have to try them on. Oh, for God's sake. I don't know. I'm just taking all three. You're not taking all three. <sighs> right, let's just pack it all. to tackle the inside of the van. It doesn't look like there needs to be much cleaning done, but we just want to make sure it's spotless and no mould can grow inside. So, three, two, one. Wait. Why can't I click? <laughs> doesn't look like it's clean, but we've disinfected everything and it's as clean as it's gonna be. I'm sure there'll be dust when we get back in there. So that's it, we're all packed up and in the van. We're saying goodbye to our lovely Molina apartment here in Karlovac and we're gonna start heading on our last drive in the van for two months to Zagreb where we'll st stay tonight in the van ready for our flight early tomorrow morning. We've got a couple of chores to do today so we're going to bring you guys along with us for them and then hopefully hit up a Christmas market later which I'm really excited about. little shop was in order just to get some bits for lunch like now and also something for breakfast in the morning if we want anything so we just basically grabbed a lot of pastries some bananas and then some snacks for the plane and now we're gonna make our way to Zagreb second job to do today is to wash this van so it's nice and clean for when we leave when we leave it today so we've only got like 15 minutes left of this journey 
and then we'll do a bit of driving today around but not a big trip before we leave sad times and just like that we're done our hands are about to drop off <laughs> one thing that we did just forget to do when we were washing the van is empty the water tanks so we're just going to do it here obviously we don't have a great water tank so it is literally just water so our solution is get in the shower and just spray it until it stops fancy a shower yeah no that's going to take ages we've got 50 liters can i put the tap on as well yeah. I think the rest of the day is pretty much going to consist of us just trying to waste time I'm not going to lie it's just one of them things when we know that we've just got to be here now in the city until we go tomorrow and then obviously we want to go to the markets later oh all done pulled the fuse out so the pump doesn't keep running on itself but apart from that that should be it we are done now for jobs. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to do a couple more searches just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but I think we're all okay. Well, that was a nice little stop. We've just spent quite a long time in there, haven't we? Drinking and chatting and having a coffee waiting for it to basically go dark so that we can go to the markets and it's just getting there now so I think we're gonna head over there have a look around see what festive things we can find hopefully it'll put me in the mood and then yeah because I don't know how much more we'll see now in December going to Thailand so we'll have a look around and then we're gonna try and figure out where we're gonna eat tonight because we've got some cash and we're not allowed to drink or touch anything in the van nothing the fridge is empty everything's clean and it's not being touched apart from us to sleep there tonight so that's all we're gonna do so we're gonna try and get some food out so I have find my MacBook on find my iPhone whatever and I've just had a notification that my MacBook's moved but it just says and that usually happens when we move from the Airbnb say this morning and then got back in the van but it's just happened now and we've been out the van for like what like three hours and I just don't know when it's it really set my own edge because one of the reviews on the part for night place where we parked that someone got something stolen back in like earlier this year so it's like been like in the back of our heads today but like it's been fine but then just to have that through it's like really put me on edge but we're about a 35 minute walk away from the van it's probably nothing but it's just weird that that's just happened so I think we're gonna have a quick ish walk through I just can't like think straight now because I'm just worried about the backpacks because all of our stuff, backpacks and electrical bag are just on the floor in the back of the van ready to go for tomorrow morning so it wouldn't take someone very long to get it. We'll have a walk through the market and then get back to the van I think. Yeah. Everything's still there? Yeah. Oh dear me. Oh my god. Why did we do this to ourselves? I don't know. I feel really stupid now, but as soon as I got that notification, it just alerts you that your your laptop's moved for some reason. So after that I just couldn't I couldn't relax at like my anxiety. 
we've literally just walked so quick it's about a 40 minute walk just to get back to make sure this is okay it feels silly now in the grand scheme of things because of where we were but when this is your home it's got everything like this is all we own no 24 hours before we and 24 <laughs> hours yeah before it's like the easiest way for someone to rob us because it's all ready <laughs> so yeah i'm just glad we're back i think we're just gonna find somewhere else to go for some food and drive the van there and then we'll think about where we're going to stay tonight it was going to be here but we need to go get some food now that we sprinted out of the city We've come to another car park now, just as we found a burger place on Google that we're gonna go for tea tonight. But I just wanted to say that I feel really bad that we had like that preconceived idea that something had happened, obviously because of that notification. But Zagreb has actually been a really nice city so far, like what we've seen. Just seems really nice and chilled and like big enough, especially with the market, like the market was really nice. And I think because we were there a little bit early, if you were there, probably in like an hour or two the atmosphere would be so good it just it yeah it was very festive and everyone was out but it was still early on in the night but it looked good didn't it the market yeah, it was really nice and it was nice very I think festive it'd be nicer later on yeah it was a little bit early so people weren't like in force yeah so. yeah you didn't like everything was there for it to be a really good market yeah a bit of music but, live music yeah which they were setting up for yeah it would be nice and yeah just the atmosphere of everyone being there was just what would have been like would have been the cherry on top but i think we feel a, like a little bit safer about where we're parking the van now i think we're gonna sleep here tonight as well yeah i think this is where we'll sleep so we're up bright and early tomorrow and the pay machine that you normally have to pay at is broken so Makes sense for us to park here in this little spot. Oh my god, it is cold in this van tonight. We've just got back from having food and it was so good. I'm feeling really full now, but I'm glad that we did go out. We're now just set up in the van. Like the van is a little bit of a state. We've got like our clothes ready because it is going to be cold when we wake up in the morning. And yeah, we've not turned the chair around or anything. Mitch is here. Why you still got your gloves on? <laughs> it's really warm in here. Yeah, I suppose after being in a, an apartment for a few nights, you forget how cold it does get in the van. But we should hopefully be able to warm it up a little bit and try and get a good night's sleep ahead of about a half five wake up tomorrow. And I'm really excited. Are you? What, to wake up at half five? No, just like in general. Yeah, I'm excited, but I hate this time. Mm. I hate waiting until we go to the airport. Yeah, we were just saying that it's just like this, like although we know that we're prepared, it's the knowing that you've got to be up and like you, we, we're just waiting. It's very rare for me to get a good night's sleep before something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's only quarter past seven, so we've got a long time to wind down. <laughs> it feels so much later. But yeah, I'm just so excited. I can't believe this is our last night in the van for over two months, which is just gonna yeah. be so crazy, such a completely different experience that we're gonna have. And I'm really excited to take you along with us with what we're gonna go through, show you like, the ins and outs and just the complete culture change that it'll be. I'm really excited and I'm hoping you guys are excited to watch that as well. And yeah, just see us still on a budget, but just with two little backpacks instead of a, instead of a van. I'm excited to get back in the sun, like so excited. Just everything is going to be better. So now that our bellies are full, we need to get a good night's sleep, ready to wake up at the crack of dawn tomorrow morning. going. 